Welcome to this uh, latest build. The day has been in light of Samba and in light of the error we got due to updates. We are a few hours on in the day, well almost at the end of the day, and Marco just gave me uh, another tip that maybe can help other people as well. If you need win bind. So it's still about Samba. Samba is a way to share your files to your own personal network at home, but also in companies, of course. And then it becomes like a Windows server or a Windows Active Directory. And some of us need maybe to configure that, but um, well, with Active Directory, etc. The thing is, I have made the changes that Marco suggested. So, by the way, join us on Discord because on Discord, Lots of things get discussed and suggestions can be made and solutions can be found as you're here right now. When we get our scripts online from Article Links D, so the GitHub from Article Links D. So Article Links, hello. Let's quickly go there. Oh, it was there already. So that one. Any of those will do. All kind, all 11 desktops that work. I've just downloaded one of them because we're on XFC. I uh, took XFC, but it doesn't matter. It's all the same script. So this is a copy paste I'm doing, and then you git clone somewhere, git clone, and then enter, and then you have the same folder I have here. Since it's already there, that's the fun with git clone. You can just open it, open a terminal here. And now say, go get all the changes Eric made. And I made some changes. So git pull is the command. And 150 is the one I've been working on. We're from version 3 to version 4. And there were some things changed. So, still about WinBind. We have a new Samba configuration. Let's open up another toolbar then. And go to the file system, go to etc, Samba, that's where you need to be. And the Samba configuration, Arch Linux. So that's um, a new file. It's going to be changed. You can have a look at, look at it now. But this is still the old one. So see, look at this thing. This has a hashtag in front of it. And a lot of lines are coming in between here. So this is an old file. Let's maybe leave it open. And what I'm going to do is reinstall and get the latest stuff and install the latest Samba uh, script that we have. So 140, that's not going to work. Slash 140. And let's install completely Samba. And as you see, it was not installed. So it's clean install. All right, so that's done. What's your login? So my mother is coming to my computer. You give her the name, I don't know. Tina or something, and then a password, Tina, Tina, and that's it. In this case, it's Eric who is going to log in, and my password is this. Then number 150, run that as well for discovery of your network. And then we go and look what happened. Did something change? This has been added. This is new. There is a new file in there. And there's another file in there. And these two guys, if you compare them, yes, they're exactly the same. And that's good. But they're not the same. This change, there's a block that comes from Marco, a tip from him. And this is the link where you can read more. Configuring an active directory thing. And this is an extra line I've added. And this makes it easier for you to find uh, the Windows computers, if there are any at your home. So we have now two new files, but this one is the one that's going to work. You work on this one and you'll always have a backup here. And this one is the one that's coming actually from Samba itself. So it's not from us and you can compare that as well. If you are thinking of changing anything uh, or want to compare, then this is the difference. That's what we, this is what we did and that's backup. Okay. The only thing you need to do if you want to have WinBind is still to activate it. That's something 
that you need to do yourself. We leave it up to you if you want it or not. So you want to enable something. That's it. Type it and done. Now, to be sure that everything is working, that Samba is still working, even if we enable the windbind, then we need to ask the system, well, we don't need sudo at all, to have a status. We just want a status. Then anybody can ask the status. So it's active and running. Now I just started something, and it's always wise to restart and see if it still works after a reboot. So till that's uh, just checking that Winbind, Samba, all the things are working. After reboot. Let's take another wallpaper, please. Okay, the Doctor Who statues. Blah. Horrible guys. So, um, checking him. Yeah? Checking. So, Samba. Check. Oh, status force, of course. Status. SMB service. That's what we need. Never mind the red thing below here. That's not important. Whoop. That's what we need. And then the other thing we want to know is how is the system. And then we have seen it all in mind. Ah, oh, st status again. In mind. Also, all green. Never mind about this guy. Yeah, come on. It's so. Oh yeah, that's a tip in this video. Oh no, not sure. Not with. It does not work with a terminal. Too bad. So no tip. But it's just really annoying to get really to this bottom line and drag it all up. So that's another green thingy. And last. Then I stop. So system this time status yeah not that one that one and we don't care about all the reds as long as it's running we're happy that's one way to looking at it why not teach a little bit more <laughs> I am a teacher Pfft, incredible up kill everything and you can see here as well uh, scroll down scrolling down with space spacebar and we look at some stuff here act loaded active active waiting okay we're at the end here is one and MB loaded active running and we'll have to figure out and see the others as well somewhere there are so that's one, that's one, that's number two, and windbind must be here. So you can check that out as well. There are also other possibilities to see if something is failed or running, but okay, that's enough. So there you go, get rid of this wallpaper, ah, much better. And um, I have an update I see, so quickly update the system. It's in the video that I cannot type. That's good. Nothing from Pacman, I'm uh, sorry, Norit, nothing from Arch Linux. So, all good. And nothing from AWAR. And that's really it. Enjoy Windbite.